The regional lawmakers of the East African Legislative Assembly are in Arusha, Tanzania to deliberate on a number of issues. Key on the agenda was the travel restrictions imposed by some partner states. A motion moved by a South Sudan representative, Kinigai, called for a speedy implementation of measures that facilitate the free movement of persons and labor within the community. There were South Sudanese who were arrested in Kenya on flimsy reasons. I said they are in their homes because they don't have visa and don't have a document to enter. They say on several occasions, East Africans are stopped by immigration officials from crossing borders to another partner state, which infringes on the common market protocol that all states signed. People, when they are going to the market, they come to the once border post and they are given a pass to go to the market. And I was saying, what a shame. Because our president gave a presidential directive and say that all East Africans are free to stay in Kenya, to enter, to stay, to work, to settle, and even to marry. Uganda's representative George Odong said mistrust among partner states is cropping up. We are serving East Africans with a mirage. We are being dishonest to East Africans. There is a huge trust deficit. And because there's a huge trust deficit, we are also having a credibility crisis. The mutual suspicion, the undertones, the unspoken issues. The lawmakers are concerned that mistrust among partner states could result into the corrupts of the community. Let's address the question of trust first. And once you have a trust deficit, any relationship that has breach of trust is a relationship that is bound to have problems. The reality is we are still so much fearful of each other. This community is grappling with an identity crisis. I call this an identity crisis because we do not know, are we East Africans? Ugandan representatives criticize Kenya and Tanzania for their continued restrictive immigration laws and regulations that are hampering the spirit of East African integration. They ask you, hey, wana, unatafuta nyama ama ngombe? There are not as many Ugandans working in Kenya across the border. Other than bringing the maize and stop at the border point and it is taken over by the Kenyans. This is the reality. So this maize is only good in the Kenyan trucks. It is not good in the Ugandan trucks. If it is my country, Kenya, that for whatever reason is, is seen to violate any one of either the protocols, the treaty, or the laws of this house, then I must stand without fear or favor to say that this is wrong. It must be corrected. The urged partner states still demanding for visa fees to waive them, arguing that they are an infringement on people's rights to movement within member states. I'm still wondering why up to today I have to pay an international fare when I'm traveling from, from Entebbe to Arusha. Why would you charge an East African a thousand dollars to go and find a job? Why would you? If in Kenya they continue to disturb you with the entry visas, I am ready to lead a demonstration on the streets of Nairobi. But most of these pattern states have been directed by the council uh, to harmonize most of our national laws. Jingo Francis, NTV, in Arusha, Tanzania.